I don't want to pay that much if it goes for less. That one has its mouth closed. It wants no part of that worm. <laughs> it don't want a worm in its mouth. Sometimes it's like that. You're like, no worms for me. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today Barb and I are here in Heron, Illinois, at Southern Illinois Estate. No, that's Close. not even, that's not right. <laughs> we practiced. <laughs> Southern Estate Antique Mall. And we're going to head on inside here and see what we can find. This is the second time, I believe, that we've been here. It's been a long time. Let's go. All right, we are here at the entrance, and I noticed some flamingos over here. We're going to take a look right now because I am wondering what they are. I like how they have the leaves going up like that. They're like the figurines. Oh gosh, they're heavy concrete. I, well, that's what I figured. Yeah. I like those. Let's see how much they are. Oh boy. I have no clue. That's not even for that. Yeah, This is not. baseball something or other. You probably just have to ask inside for all this stuff because the weather won't let the tags ah, here we go. be good. Flamingo flamingos wait fifty dollars you get both for fifty it says flamingos with an s okay. fifty dollars i would buy them for both and then the whole back of my car would be like way down the grass i'd be like i'm riding through the city i have to watch out for the cops because he'd be like what you got in your car uh, just flamingos true. officer do you I, think I it's I for both it's each because they each, they each have, have a neck tag oh you got little Colors. One, that one's kind of in better shape, so you maybe could just buy one for 50 All right, so he said that they were $59 a piece, so I'll probably get one. Yeah, that that's one not a bad price. Anyway. Uh, Barb just noticed this little partridge. In a pear tree. <laughs> Is it in a pear tree, though? No, but I was trying to figure out what animal it was, and then the, and the tag says glass partridge. It's cool. It's it iridescent. Is. It's $10. That's not that bad. A thing to think about. I've never had a partridge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's one of those little lady buggies. Buggy. Oh. Thingies. Is it a ladybug or a bee? Bee, maybe. They've got 12 on it. Oh, I thought it said 28. I just spotted this little clearance bird here. They have it marked down to $12 from 20. There's nothing wrong with it. It's blown glass. It has its nice little bullicante bubbles on the interior. That's what those bubbles are. They are intentional. They just wanted to have a little fun whenever they were blowing it. And so I'm getting this clear bird and uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good thing to do. Unfortunately, they have coffee, but not in the summer and they don't have water either. So that's okay. Oh, Are you gonna get jewelry? I'm not looking, I, I can't <gasps> do that. Oh, Aren't there's like little Mayan though? faces on it. <laughs> I just don't know the right things to get. And then the ones that I do too. think are right, they're too expensive for what I feel like I know right. that I should pay. So yeah, yeah. it's hard. You no, know, this is one of the prettier goofus glass bowls that I've seen. Uh, they have 20 on it. I'm not going to get it. We're just going to look at it. But it's ruffled and it's beautiful. So ruffled or so goofus glass is pressed glass, meaning it was molded. And that's what this is. And it's from about the 1900s. It's older and it's generally clear with a sprayed on coloring on one side of it. And what ha ends up happening because of the age, it chips off, see where it's exposed and it can get rubbed on and stuff. So this one, the coloring is very, very good for its age. So I don't think $20 is bad for that if you're a collector. Uh, by any means. Also, I noticed this pineapple over here. It's $60. I haven't seen this before. Let's see who did it, if they have a clue. Uh, Port Portio. So it's blue milk glass. And it, I would venture to say this is old, very old as well. J pretty early for milk glass, about 1900s. So that's cool, $60. I, you just don't see that. I found two things over here. Barb found two things over there. Oh. probably both too expensive. This really? one is. Isn't that great? The pumpkin lantern. <gasps> oh wow, for $90. Yeah, this is a rubber face something and it's flipped over. Oh no, it's on its head. But the prices in this booth are a little more up there. There's the winking kitties for $40, uh, for, which are they left bad. in? Uh, or Inesco? Those are Inesco, I think. Inesco. I'm gonna ask her so I can see what this is. Okay, you know, it, it might be a lot if it's face down. It's, it's appalled. 
it's appalled at how expensive it, it is. Oh, look at the die cuts. That's beautiful for 20. And then there's this one. And then the owls. So we looked at the bear, it was um, I was thinking Something. maybe it was just a regular teddy bear, but it was the um, one of those TV characters, like the Hannah the, the Barbera yeah, or something. Yeah, something to do with that, and I don't usually buy those. So. Okay. Yep. I also noticed there's these die cuts over here on the wall. I don't know if they're... I'm just noticing them. 23. Ooh. These are the older ones. Lures. I, would have just, I just thought they were reproduction because there's so many of them together and they look good shape. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to tell for sure. Are they la so somebody laminated them. Oh. That might have been what was confusing me too. If there's a back on them, it's my understanding that if they're double-sided, they're on the newer side. Oh, yeah. And if they have a like a chipboard back, like just brown, you know, brown paper or whatever, then they're some of the older ones, but they obviously don't only go by that. Minor, they're they're minor, they're minorly embossed. Anyways, okay, like them. Like em. Oh my gosh, all of these die cuts. Ooh, there's a big pumpkin guy. Oh, I like this witch here. Yeah. I wonder how much she is. I like the witch and the cat over there. Fifteen. <gasps> you know that's very tempting. Oh, it has a mouse in it. She has a mouse in her hat. <laughs> so there's that. Then there's this other lady over here. These die cuts are so cool. <gasps> Look at the, the owl. Barb, you have to get this owl pirate. I like that. It's winking technically because <laughs> one eye is covered. It is. Oh, Look that's that neat. That's a cool face though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, and a Weller, a Weller Luelsa. Lamp. Oh, that's awesome. These are some great booths. I'm yeah. seeing some nice older stuff. I've sold this little mouse before. Um, Japan. Eight dollars. A little holder. Oh, yes. Spaces. The beautiful glassware. That's, that's nice. We're both looking at the same thing. The little uh, hob stars all over it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this cat, too. Yeah. That's Everywhere. fun. Oh, it's sitting, it's standing up on its own. Oh, How wow. Is that well, so let's look at him on the back and see what does Oops. he look like. 30. Um, is he, um, let's see here. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. And there's the old price tag. So how old do you think it is? Um, like 50s? Okay. 40, or 40, 50s or 60s, maybe? $45 for him. Look at, there's more here. Yeah. Wow. Owl. It says Lurs. L U H R S. Is that H E Lurs? I, like I don't know why in my mind I'm thinking H E. I don't know. But Look at oh wait, it is. No, it says it right there. Huh. But these are very different than those. Like I like mm -hmm. these. I kind of like these better. Well, they, you mean because they're not laminated? I don't know. Something about it. Like they just look. They're more like embossed looking or something. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. True. That art there. Yeah. I'm glad we're seeing some Halloween because it's still kind of early. So I. Well, that's forty-five dollars. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think they laminated everything to keep them protected. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting it now. Well, so far we're having a little tough time trying to find uh, some really good deals for resale. This is the type of mall that I enjoy coming to because they have so many great items that you don't get to see. Very nice expensive pieces but for us it's a little harder to buy things for resale but it's still really enjoyable to just see really cool and great quality stuff so we're gonna keep looking and hope for the best that is beautiful that. 195 though. 195 yeah. for the yeah. chenille how that much the pink pretty but that one's kind of discolored i guess oh i'm not sure <gasps> how much is that oh i see it it's 15. it's a lithographic print over there with that nude person yeah. on a on a cliff this one's 125. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. That's There's cute. a little owl. He's Guatemala, I guess. Is he, you think that what? I'm not sure. Probably. I, They're mostly sure, but Mexico, but that's he's, $8. He's dollars. eight. That's not that bad. And here's some bluebirds. Right. And this right. one is 12. So these are a little. I bit. have a lot of bluebirds. I, I have a, I'm, I'm getting, I have a deal. I'm getting a whole bunch. So I'm yeah. going to hold back on some birds. There's a couple of fairy lamps here, 28 for the stars and bars fairy lamp. And then this one over here with the little diamond points on it. That's an amber diamond point fairy lamp, Indiana glass for 28 
dollars. I was hoping there was in the photos. <gasps> oh there was yeah. A Fenton Alley Cat was here, and it was right there, and it's not there anymore. It's sold, but okay. it would have been priced well because of the other prices we see in here. Yeah. All these other like little things are, like you know, sixty-five dollars for those two purple girls, and then you know just how things are. This cat is, that green cat, emerald cat is $50. So it would have been whatever it was. Horlicks, H-O-R-L-I. -I. I had a, uh, yeah, I had those. Yeah. And I sold them. It was a fun time. I'm not usually messing around with Horlicks, but it was a fun booth. I just noticed this blue bowl over here, beautiful scallops, it's $50. So I won't do that one, but it's beautiful to look at. Some amber glass. This little bunny. Is those, it's, I thought it was a squeaker. It's just a plastic. Just a plastic for five. Barb would probably like that. A little whole apple grease jar for 30. The grease jars are very popular and usually they're beat up and crazed with so, you know, so badly. So $30 for that one. You have a single shaker by whole. So. Lots of great things in here. They have newspaper all over their walls. That's lovely. I love that. Now this is that Sirocco. Sirocco wood. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a little much. Thirty. So for yourself or? Well, it would have to be. But <laughs> <laughs> Sirocco, if you're wondering, is uh, generally a wood pulp mixture. So it's sort of like a a composite of wood and plastic and resin or something. That's basically what it is. I. I didn't think that it particularly sold for a lot, but Shade certain cool. pieces do. I'll look it up. That's what I'll do. That's what you'll do. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at these cardinals real, real, real quickly. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cardinals. This is where they migrated to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they, they got stuck in this cabinet. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, oh, I like this one. Look, the one baby's got oh, his mouth open. They usually do. <laughs> I love that, and they're they're the pair of parents and. Look at that, look at, that one has his mouth closed. It wants no part of that worm. <laughs> it don't want a worm in its mouth. Sometimes it's like that. You're like, no worms for me. <laughs> there's no price on it. Maybe there's a, a singular price for all cardinals. Oh, guess what we can't do in here? Get a signal. <laughs> well, that happens. Mahogany hutch for two sixty nine. Well, I don't know how much these cardinals are priced. Are any of them priced? Um, Maybe they're just for decoration. Or they could come with the hutch. None of them are priced. That's weird that none of them are priced. So you just have to buy them all. What with, about with this the Weller piece? Is this priced? The Weller? Are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Maybe know. Maybe this stuff all comes with the case. That's what I was thinking. It's that like a make any sense. instant collection. Yeah. If you have a house with nothing in it, like. I yeah. guess you could use all the help you could get. Sort of a pet peeve of mine to be at a place, look for the price tag, and then have a, just a dollar sign with no price on it. Um, it's like that with those. There were some ceramic trees up here that don't have prices either. Um, they have tags. Oh, no. They just have off. they just have dollar signs. So we'll never know. This one has a string but no tag. I don't know. Nuts nuts you know i thought it'd be interesting to show like some different kinds of things that i normally wouldn't be gravitated to so just for the sake of variety we've got some dickens villages so there's like the little those and then we have some hallmark keepsake ornaments all of these priced three four or five dollars each this of course we do know this is the franciscan apple pattern and then franciscan uh, desert rose Famously used by Jackie Kennedy. The apples, I don't know who used those, but <laughs> of course I like the Franciscan Ivy, which were also used on I Love Lucy. Well, this, booth, this booth looks beautiful. Ooh, that's lovely with the girl on there. Polish pottery lady. Polish pottery lady. 89. $90. And then all the glassware, of course. I was. Barb, I was trying to show some different things for a change. Okay. So, because some people might want to be like, what else is at these malls? You are, you're only showing us the glassware and the ceramics and the, the old stuff. What else is there? So. Ooh, aluminum trees. Where? Up high. Oh my gosh. How much for you? That's Probably a thousand dollars. Oh, there's, there's, there's a part of another one I oh see over there. Oh my gosh, we have to. 
Look, oh, by the way, here's some Avon Cape Cod. That's what all of that is. Then you have this maybe Fostoria? It has, it looks like maybe Fostoria. It is American, yeah, it's called American Pattern by Fostoria. And then there's more of it. Cake plates, all sorts of things. That's a pretty art class. Number two. The radio, yeah. it, maybe it's the same person. Yeah, it's got the missing price. There's part price. of a color wheel down there. There's a kitty. So there's no price on the trees. I like this little one. Oh wait, yeah, there is. It says 265 oh, okay. on the little one. Yeah. It looks kind of, it looks kind of wilted. The branches look kind of sad. <laughs> Those are known as a pom-pom branch, know. but they they're not really that pom-pommy looking. Oh, oh that's the a 67. That's a little much. For the cat? Yeah. I mean, I am going to get one of those flamingos. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. This this thing here. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, in this booth, we'll just kind of look at it. There is a bellow for your fireplace. Some cast iron pieces. This nice shelf. Things that I don't buy because, I mean, look how big they are. Anyway. How does that work for a fire? Look at this hall tree. The bellow? What does it do? It puts more air into the... It stro stokes the fire. It gets oh. more air into the logs and everything. Because oxygen is what helps fire. Okay, That's I'm cool. starting to wonder, is there some situation? Like there's so many of the tags that don't have a price. There's got to be a reason for this. It's maybe the same vendor. They can't have forgotten that many. Well, they could be going through is something like, in life. There's no price because it goes with something else. <laughs> the whole booth. <laughs> One, you have to buy the whole booth. I don't know. This napkin holder is beautiful for uh, 25. That's Nippon for 45. And actually I like this one down here more. It has the handles on it and the it's painted on the interior as well. That is lovely for $109. And it's also marked, well, they say Nippon, but it's not because it just says made in Japan. That's two different things. Nippon predates made in Japan. Nippon isn't a company. Noritake is. Nippon is just the, another, another word for Japan. But to call this Nippon when it clearly does not say Nippon, it says made in Japan. I feel like I'm one of those people that know it all. I just, <laughs> it just, I'm just, it's a, I think it's just a distinction that some of you might not maybe know, some of you, that if it says Nippon on the bottom, that means that it's still Japan, but it predates a certain era. So Nippon is, what is it, Barb? 19. Uh, 1891 to, to about 1920 20, basically yeah yeah so that's what Nippon means it stands for the word Japan and it was used as maybe a way for them to circumvent the export laws saying that you have to have your country of origin on there in Nippon back then or Japan back then wasn't like I mean that wasn't great to put on on the bottom of something maybe England was great maybe Germany was great but Look That's at this poor guy. They call him on his tag Deadhead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's got a Japan mark. Poor That's little thing. Lovely. Wow. And then there's some of these big eye art. There's a black velvet. Oh, that's cute. Okay, the clowns, eh. No. But the <laughs> but the that's cool. Get yourself a black light and go wild. <laughs> so our cart looks terrible. I still need to attempt I mean, our to basket. go outside and look up that owl because I don't want to pay that much if it goes for less. Still for just for yourself though. Yeah. yeah. Here's another one of those trees. This one's 175. I painted a tree. Barb knows it. I painted my own. I know but I haven't seen it yet. It's a, so it's a Halloween tree. Oh I think that's new. It wasn't there before. Is it? Well relatively. Like, just like at the other place we were at. They, they added one of these type of rooms. Hmm, they did. <laughs> what did you find out? Okay, the signal does work out there. Oh, so good. <laughs> there are none available on eBay. Oh. There are a couple sold. So that's, that's probably about the right price, 30 to 40. Okay. So geez. I'm going to ask for 10% off and see how that goes. Oh, really? I just noticed this bowl over here real quick. Wow. Yeah, I love it. 145 as is. I like the I like metal and glass mixed together. Yeah. Call me silly. You but don't see that that often. That's really. right. That's very nice and it has an Art Nouveau flair to it with the way that it's done. Mm -hmm. The the natural, you know, flourishes. Did you decide to get anything else out of the case? No, we can okay. look again, but I don't think I, I want any of this I'm stuff. I'm still thinking about the black flower frog. The black flower frog? Yeah. Oh that wasn't yeah. Here, though, it wasn't. There's a swap, 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 
Sor Sorovsky, <laughs> five times, Sorovsky crystal, pink ones. And the, this partridge is $10. Barb was asking me off camera if I wanted to get that, and I was like, well, I don't know. I haven't really dealt with partridges It's before. like a combination of a bunny and a bird. I mean, I I would probably just say, since I didn't really get much, I should probably just get that as yeah. well. And what about, the, what about the bee? The bee. Um, for, was it 12? Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean... I thought people liked those. They, they do. I, yeah. I guess I'm just in a saving mode today yeah. for some reason. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. I'll let you be the person that gets me involved with things that I was <laughs> on the fence about. Um, usually it's the other way around. Yes. So, um, I'll get the bee, I'll get the bird. And I'll go look at the flower frog. And Barb will look at the flower frog. Well, so the flower frog report is it had a couple little things. Like shear marks? Or no, like little chippy things. And it's already at a price that I wasn't sure about. Oh, no. Now, here's a cat. Oh, that's cool. I just am not sure on its age. Maybe 80s or... You think? Seven, like maybe late 70s or 80s. Yeah. So that makes me, you know... I mean, I think it's cool. It has that nice mid-century look to it. Or yeah. even like... Maybe even like a art um, art deco kind of styling. But. Yeah, when I, it, it reminds me of Hager in a way, but mm -hmm. um, that's I yeah, that's what know. it was. Hager. Oh, no. For how much? Twelve. I think it's you'll be you'll be safe. I think dollars. you can easily double. It does have a cool look to it. I guess I could do that. Yeah, I'm just looking at that lady. I left her. I put my stuff. I said I'm ready, and then, so I got to go back to the front. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can both go. Yeah. And I'm gonna get the flamingo. So that's exciting. Yes. Yes. Very exciting. All right. So I've got to do the ending to this video alone because Barb is disposed of right now. But um, it was really good. We both did pretty well at the antique mall. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.